The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info you thought that was funny you were laughing like a hyena when he said it what the hell is wrong with you we're gonna hurry through ismo laikola is here and he's up at cb uh, live he's from finland if i if i remember correctly I believe so right is that i think that's right we'll find out i'm sure i don't want to screw that up just in case there's some sort of um well, no, I don't know if well, some people get upset when you say I'm Korean and then they're not Korean. Korean. So, Icelandic. I'm a, yeah, I don't I'm know a if that. Svensipo- I'm a Svensipolka, which means I'm a Swedish girl. I don't know. I don't get mad when somebody says, "Are you fin- or from Finland?" I'm like, "No." I don't think it's gonna bother me. But some people, like you say, How "Oh, he's, you? here's my Korean friend." I'm like, "I'm Japanese." Like they get really upset. So I don't know. If that's Honduran. The, don't know if that's the same up there. Uh, this very well might be the saddest, funniest thing I've ever gotten. It's sad though, Brady. And on Tragedy Porn Weekend, because everywhere you turn, uh, right now I just walked by the TV in the break room. The Today Show is a, uh, in a very dark space with no decoration, has all their people talking about 9-11. Every, and every question you have to ask this weekend, well, where were you? Brett, where were you on? Uh, eating cereal in my old condo on Elm School in Elliott. No kidding, yeah, just yeah, watching just, TV? Yeah, I threw it on. I literally, it, no joke, I turned on the TV and all of a sudden I saw this. I'm like... This looks like a bad movie. So yeah. I changed the channel, and it's on the other channel. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah. I just woke up. What was up. the cereal? Uh, I don't remember. Chocula. Ch- 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 Chocula. No, I haven't got no, because it wasn't. It, <laughs> they weren't reproducing it as of then, so I don't He was deep it, in so. the that grape, was, grape nuts at the that time. That was his right? 9-11, is that there was no more Count Chocula. It was a really bad day. It was a bad No, it's a great day. I but told now, you. now it's, it's a, a great day. It's an amazing day for that's me. That's the day your ex-wife said, I don't want to be with that's you. That's right. Anymore. Me and Toledo celebrate the same day. And your ex-wife yelled it. And the and the twin towers fell. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't the planes that yeah. knocked them down. It was the the force. Well, this is the saddest email I've gotten it's since nine eleven. So it's appropriate. It comes today, September tenth. Says, dear John, and the morning sickness. How are you, John? I want to say thank you. A while back, you talked about how much you hate the chatterbox people at Dutch Brothers when you try to just get a coffee and they want to have a conversation, and you encourage people to say something terrible to make them shut up and stop it. Brady fought you. And said, no, I like the conversations. And Brady was the one who, he can't just tell. It's a good 20 minutes out of my day to I was that saying, long. like I said, uh, when I was sitting in the car that one time, I said, so what are you guys going to do today? I'm like, well, she's got to get an abortion. And point to the, and then, you know, have the girl in on it too. And then they don't want to talk to you anymore. What, what are you guys going to go to a movie or something today? No, we're shopping for baby caskets. Our child died last night. And then the Dutch Brothers people stopped having fake conversations. Small talk's the worst. Uh, this guy says, ready, Brady? He said, I did it yesterday. Exactly what you asked. Because I lost my wife last week to COVID. So I placed my order at the Dutch Brothers. And then I got to the window and Chatterbox starts asking me what's going on. And he says, exactly, he says, what are you up to this fantastic Thursday? And I said, actually, I'm casket shopping. You were right. It shut him up. The only thing is, I wish I was making it up or lying. Oh. 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 I am the devil. <laughs> then he says, so I pulled away, and I was laughing my ass off. Tough week. I really needed that. Thanks again. <laughs> wow. That's spectacular. Oh, sorry I don't know if I should laugh or cry over I'm here. both. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry you're going through what you're going through. But at least it only took you 24 hours to find laughs out of it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're worse than me somehow. Wow. I was just kidding when I said I was casket shopping. This guy's actually going casket yeah. shopping. So, in a way, huge win for you because that's a great one. Got to go casket shopping today. All right, well, you have fun doing that. Here's your makalaka latte. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious and also terrible. But, Dutch Brothers, you ask us, we're going to tell you something terrible. 
But on the, top of that, if you go to Dutch Brothers, you know what you're going to get. True, but the line, you know they got to stop that. Suck. The line is 400 miles long oh, yeah. because you won't shut up. Expedite the process. We're not going to be friends. You don't need to know that I'm going to a movie. I order. You put it in your little thing, and you leave. Be like Raising Cane's. Just oh. get that line rolling. Right. Yeah. Yes. Have Raising four Cane's. things on your menu. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Get them Raising down. Cane's never goes, so, whereabouts do you live? Like, leave me alone and get my drink. Yeah, exactly. They, oh, man. You got a big day? I saw a movie last night. Want to hear about it? No, we're casket shopping. <sighs> ah, yes, dimium. What are you guys up to today? Well, she had a miscarriage in the toilet about 30 minutes ago, so we just came by to grab some oh. coffee on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that at them. Throw the bomb. Get these weirdos to stop bothering you. I'm sorry for your loss, Nathan. Great line. Though. I'm glad you had a little laugh. I'm glad you got to use it. <laughs> I'm glad even in your time of tragedy, you're thinking, I wonder uh, what Holmberg would say to this Dutch brother. That's just terrible that on your mind. I'm sorry. I, I feel terrible for your loss. Now, let's go to Dutch Brothers. I want to hear you pull this off. This is a full day. I'd go to like nine Dutch Brothers if I was you and get all the enjoyment out of this I could. Because it's true. Uh, Ismo Laikala is coming in here. I like saying his name. It just flows out of you. <laughs> He's at uh, CB Live uh, at Desert Ridge. We're going to talk to him next. It's 98 KUPD. The best the world has to offer in music, drama, and comedy. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.